Hello and welcome in this special series of functional coverage with respect to system welder. In this series, we'll try to explore more about the functional coverage part of system welder. So as you can see on the screen, I have divided this series into the seven parts. And in the first part, we'll try to explore about the introduction. What the what are, what is the definition of coverage types of coverage as you know code coverage is there then functional coverage with respect to system building. then definition of cover group definition of bins then how to define bins implicitly and explicitly then in the part second we will try to explore more about filtering of bins how we can exclude the bins from coverage calculation we can make use of illegal bins and ignore bins and all. Then also we will try to see what is wildcard bins and the advantage of wildcard bins and all with examples. Of. In the third part, we'll try to explore about the reusable cover group. What is reusable cover group? How we can make the cover group more generic in nature. In the fourth part, we'll try to see the sampling method. So as you know, System Verilog has inbuilt sample method. Then we can make use of another sampling methods also like user defined sampling methods. And we can make use of the passage of the clock as a sampling method for us. Even based sampling methods, okay, we can see. Now in the fifth part, we'll try to explore about the coverage, cross coverage, the very powerful feature of this functional coverage, how it will help us to verify the cross between the cover points and between the variables. Now in the sixth part, we'll try to see the transition bins. We'll try to explore more about this transition bins. And in the seventh part of this series, we will try to see some examples of combinational and sequential circuits. We'll try to write a simple linear test bench using Verilog. Then we will try to implement the verification environment using system very long. And also we will make use of UVM. So UVM has this UVM subscriber for defining a coverage. Mode. We'll try to explore that also. Now, uh, already I have uh, uploaded a video. So as a part of this series, we are going to make use of EDA Playground freely available online simulator for running our codes and seeing the details of coverage and analyzing the details of coverage. So already I have uploaded that video. You can make use of this link and you can have a thorough understanding of that ED playground, how to make use of that for generating a coverage. Now uh, you can use the book uh, for comprehensive study, you can make use system very log assertions and functional coverage by Ashok B. It is very good book you can use. Now, let me just give you a basic definitions of coverage as a part of this introduction session. So if you can see on the screen, you will find some definitions. So if you see the literature, you will find many, many definitions for functional coverage and all. So, um, how we can define the functional coverage? So, in simple, we can say uh, it is used to measure the quality of a design verification. Okay, or one can say it is used to measure the quality and percentage of a verification objectives that has been. And this functional coverage is a user defined metric that uh, measures how much of the design specification have. Uh, has been exercised. Okay. So, as you are aware about the code coverage, right? So, coverage, there are two types of coverage. One is code coverage, which is a tool dependent one, and the functional coverage. So, this functional coverage is a user defined metric. Okay, we have to define as a user, it is not tool generated one. Okay. So, it is used to this functional coverage is used to. Uh, create a coverage model. We we use that 
uh, inside that we can define the cover group and as a part of cover group we have to define some cover points for the variables but now let's try to see uh, the definitions of cover group and we'll try to see a very simple example for this cover group cover points and bins okay. so the cover group is uh, used to define a coverage model okay. and can be placed inside a module or in a name block and it can in, it can have uh, it, or we can say it can is encapsulates the clocking events that synchronize sampling of points or we can define a cover point we can say coverage points for as a part of this cover group and we can define a cross coverage if needed between cover points and between variables okay so if you see the coverage point cover point definition it is defined uh, it is defined a cover coverage points for that model which we are defining this cover group we can define this coverage point or cover point for each variables inside this okay uh, cover group and, and the third definition is the bins here so what the bin bins is all about we'll see here so bins are used to keep a track or we can say keep a record of number of times user hits the specific value of cover point expression and we can define if needed this cross coverage so we can define a cross uh, between coverage points or between variables so we'll try to explore more about these things later but just for your understanding let me just give you the how syntax wise we can define the cover group the cover point and how we can use of inbuilt sample will not try to you know explore more just i am giving you syntax wise definition and understanding okay so as a part of class i am defining one variable two variables over here a and b and i am declaring them as a rands so that in future if i am uh, using a randomized method these two variables can be randomized inside a top module as you can see i am defining the instance for this class abc and here i am defining the cover group so you can see cover group and group it is very similar right to this module and end module so as a part of uh, that if we are defining cover group we have to use end group and you can give any name so cg i am giving you can give any name it is user defined one and as a part of this cover group we have to define cover points and to access these variables a and b class properties we have to make use of this instance h1 so we are accessing that a and b using this h1 and we are defining them as a cover point here we are uh, using the auto bins we are not explicitly defining bins implicit bins we are considering here we'll try to explore more about those uh, thing implicit and explicit bins don't worry about it just as a part of uh, this first session just try to you know understand how to define the cover group and all what are the syntaxes for it now within initial begin i am allocating a memory for this cover group cg using new construct and i am repeating 20 times to generate the random value and in order to print the values of a and b variables and this i am using this sample in build method to sample this uh, you know coverage very soon will not we will we'll not try to run this code here uh, in the from the next next video we'll try to explore more about this coverage and uh, how how we can make use of that ed playground to generate a coverage report we'll try to explore from the next video okay so uh, with this i hope you have understood uh, what we are going to you know discuss in this entire series and the resources what we are going to use the first one is an ada playground tool which is freely available simulators online simulator and what the other you know parts we are covering or what, what are the other sections we are covering as a part of this series okay so also i hope you enjoyed this video so thanks for watching thank you